we are just a collection of atoms. For whatever reason, we are arranged in a certain way, apparently, that makes us conscious because we are made out of the same material as other things like rocks and air and um, water, you know, things that are not, that do not appear conscious. So what makes animals and humans conscious? What if our consciousness attracts our body? Like when we are conceived, what if our consciousness attracts the right body and the right, so like the right abilities, oops, oh this is so far in, the right body to be used to be your true self. And sometimes that means being put in a situation where you're able to change and that's what you need so say I mean it's not like if you're trying to attract say let's keep it simple like a fit body you're trying to attract that I mean you're trying to like get that that's what you want in yourself Well, if you are not feeling like you have it right now, it is because you need to alter your experience. And sometimes that growing process is actually what you need to feel fulfilled. So it's not necessarily that you're wanting the hot body. Well, of course you are, but what truly is going to make you feel fulfilled is the process of becoming empowered to become that person. If you were just given that body, you would not have the qualities that it took to um, manifest that body. Wouldn't you rather manifest what you want instead of being handed it? Like, feel the power that you have and the, the, the magnet that you are. Um, and really it's like a reverse magnet. So you're, you're not like attracting things to you. You are attracting yourself towards the right pathways. Like you're more open to seeing the opportunities than you are complaining about what you don't, the complaining about other aspects of your experience. Anyway, I gotta go to work.